I don't wanna hear a peep, let the boss talk I be speaking for the trenches, this that boss talk White snakes, no crease, how the boss walk I be shooting from the logo, this that boss talk I don't want the middle man, hit the boss up She gon' make it shake more, cause her boss talk Stayed down, made a plan, had the boss up Lil' dip with the lean, this how boss walk A lot of niggas be thinking they boss When it comes to that talking, all them words at a loss A lot of niggas be thinking they boss Light hard and with the moves, I'ma shimmy when you fall So you do what everybody doing, I ain't basic and I, and I want it all, no cap, that's a statement What's understood ain't gotta be explained, understatement They let us all chill in wrong order, I ain't drinking All right, we back with Boss Talk with Josh. And Keys. Another episode. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Boss's Circle, where bosses assemble. You already know what facts, it is. Facts, facts. This time we got a special guest, our first guest of the pod. We got West Philly's own Remo. You know, one of uh, West yeah. Philly's fiercest spit spitters, man. Welcome. Facts, facts. One of the hottest. Appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, man, we, we glad that you, you for coming you know, through, you man. You come through, yeah. You a boss, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. That's right. You already That's know. What we do. So Remo, man, we know um, we know who you are. A lot of other people know who you are, but people for people that may not know who you are, and even people that do know who you are, may just want you to talk to talk your stuff. Who are you? Tell the people who you are. Uh, my name Remo. Come from West Philadelphia, a particular area called the Bottom. That's right. Uh, I've been born and raised there. I mean, I just started doing music, taking it seriously, probably for like. Ever since I came home from jail, I've probably been home for like two and a half, three years, probably. Mm. So, Top yeah. fly. Dang. Okay. So, you you, you uh, came home, you got real serious with the music thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, while I was in there, I really started trying to really tap in, like, being by myself a lot in the cell and shit. You ain't really got shit to do, so, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody tried to come up with a rap before. So you had some rap battles yeah. in that joint, right, pen to pad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I had, a, I had a couple of those commissary joints. I won. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's why you wanted the fairest spitters. You, yeah. You've been through that you battle testing that environment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. So, Keith, Keith um, I mean, me and Keith wanted you on this joint because you, you're, a, you're a boss for sure, and, and you know that uh, – you you know what I'm saying you know the music scene for sure and yeah. everything right mm -hmm. so you know what inspired you to start music yeah well like I said first it was you know just like being in jail and like not really knowing when you coming home and stuff like that like you just like be wanting to free your mind and I just started doing that and I started getting like better with it like as I kept going. You know, I let my homies in the jail hear stuff like they tell me they if they don't like it or if they like it. <laughs> Most, like it only been a couple of times where they ain't like it. That's when I really first started. Like mm -hmm. I ain't to be like, bro, you got like <laughs> it mean like like switch your delivery up. And I just come back harder. He be like, ew, like you know what I'm so it tough. just got That's yeah, tough. it just got like <clears throat> it was like that for real. It was like challenging, you know, just like. You battle tested. Yeah, being around a bunch of other people who want to do the same thing as you, you feel me? Mm. Was there any uh, specific artists who inspired you to rap? Anybody you looked up to or you feel me? Shit. Being in the jail, I was like, and I was upstate, so like we had tablets. I was really listening to like a lot of, a whole lot of Drake music. Hey, Drizzy Drake. Yeah. Drake uh, Hot. Of course, one of the hottest. Of course, like, you know, the Philly artists like Meek Mill. I think like Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy was just coming out, so I can't really say them yet. Lil Dirt. You know, all the mainstream artists y'all probably listen to yeah, for real. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. So you you had some really good um influences for like, you know yeah. what I mean, inspirations and everything. So yeah. and any any younger I mean, older artists, anything that inspired you or anything? Yeah, like I see like young Jeezy, um, of course Jay Z. Oh yeah, Hov, uh, one of the goats at this for sure. Yeah, definitely a goat. You know, far as yeah, like that's that's probably like Jay Z, probably like my favorite rapper. So yeah, of course, Hov. You know, he older. It, it's crazy now because like yeah. yo, like the kids and stuff. That's like eighteen and nineteen. Like they don't listen to yeah, Jay. They don't know nothing they about don't know nothing about like, him. It's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's really crazy though. <laughs> yeah, like, like that's that's true though. And they like really Wayne don't. though, like Wayne, like that's another great like yeah for sure. People don't even be none of these nah. young rappers yeah. could probably tell you the first Wayne take. Nope. 
Yeah, none of them know who, none of them know the blueprint. <laughs> like, that's crazy. No yeah. reasonable doubts. So they speaking of all that. those different genres that you threw at us, what what would you I know what your music is, but what would you consider your your genre of music? Uh I would say like uh it's like world music. I feel like it's for the world. Mm. Um you know most people are like put it in like the category of like trap or just like hip hop period. You know, but I don't be trying to be in that box. I be trying to learn, like, how to, like, vocalize a little bit better and do more stuff. So, you know, like. Trying to get that money up. Pop. Like, <laughs> yeah, you you consider yourself an artist more than a rapper. Yeah, I'm more like an artist, yeah. yeah that's hot. And a writer. That's hot. Yeah. And that's really dope because, yeah, rap has evolved and got many different subgenres now. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can agree to that, a though. a bunch of subgenres. Yeah. Now. yeah exactly. I can agree to that, though, for sure. Yeah. Listening to yeah. it, you I can got, like, conscious rap. Box. Yeah, conscious. You got the club like, music, drill like, rap. Yeah, drill. You know, everything. Trap. Something for everybody nowadays. Mm-hmm. So yeah. for you to say that yours isn't just in this box, that's yeah. really good because at the end of the day, that makes you more money. Right. Because you more, uh, your audience is widespread right. in the world music, like you said. So yeah. that's really good. Look yeah. at being 80% of the city is in one box. Yeah. As, yeah. Far, as, <laughs> as, far, as artists, like for sure. as far as artists. Like not even artists, as far as rappers. Like yeah. that's really what the city, we, we, this city has fallen into a similar like Chicago at one point, like drill. Yeah. But it's like Philly drill. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. Like drill stuck on just drill and disres- and all that type of yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's really what it is. Like if Talk you ain't crazy. disrespecting somebody, then yeah. somebody else gonna call you ass. This yeah, is this they, new generation. Like, who you dissing? Like, yeah, like who, <laughs> like who you beefing with? And yeah, that that's yeah. definitely the scene. So for you to try to stand out of that is really good, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you you touched on something that's really dope. You said you're a writer, you know. Yeah. And me and Keith are creatives, you know, doing the podcasting. I do a lot of productions on the side, you know, outside of this. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I look at myself as a creative. I know Keith look at himself as creatives, mm-hmm. and you are a creative. Right. And one thing I'm really interested in the creative process mm-hmm. of a creative because mm-hmm. having a thought. And then seeing how that evolved and seeing the finishing product is yeah. awesome. So what is your creative process like in the studio? My creative process for real, like, I need a bunch of water. Bunch of water. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I personally don't really like a bunch of people in the studio with me. You mm. feel me? Like, I really like to just be like with me and like the engineer, especially it depends on what I'm rapping about. You feel what I'm saying? So most of the time it's just me and the engineer something like that or like probably somebody else with me that's close to me but like lately i've been kind of like recording like like more so like the west coast style like i'll probably be outside of the booth like ah. right next to the engineer that's dope so you feel and like you get a like, personal connection that yeah, way yeah like lately that's like hot. that is hot. a bunch of people from the neighborhood been coming to the last two three sessions i had so it'd be like it'd be between 10 to 20 people in there from the young boys to the people my age to the older ones, like they just be coming through because we be in like a real big studio. You tapping in, man. That's, That's real good. I, n- I never been in the studio with somebody who did that style. The I've West seen Coast it on. Style. I've seen it on video. Yeah, video. Like, I think I was sure. just watching Forty Two Doug do it, and I was like, damn, that's hot. Like, how you really get? How you really get your thoughts out like that? Like, yeah, all them people right there. <laughs> like, but like that's hot though. That's hot. Being yeah. able to do that is hot. Yeah, for sure. And that your writing process that's that's really dope. Um. So what, what what would you say, you know, out of the, the process, right? Um, is there anything that you specifically got to have, though, in there? I know you said the water. Is there anything else? Or is yeah, it just... Yeah, I got I to got have waters. Uh, I like like a snack or something. Like, I had, like, some dry cranberries. Like, mm. I, I can't go in the studio without, like, I mean... That's a fire uh, like, snack. It yeah, is. like water and a snack. <laughs> yeah. That's a fire snack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had like some dry cranberries or something. I come in the studio, I'll be good like that. You feel me? When we we giving y'all the formula. Yeah. That's what mm-hmm. you're doing. Dry cranberries yeah. and some water. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Well, what kind of water? Poland Spring, Deer Park? What is it? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna say like a century, man. It's, oh, okay. Yeah, That's I'm a banger too. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. Yeah, good pH balance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I'm a, I'm gonna jump into uh we, we recently just did a song with Yak. Yeah. So what's what's your relationship with Yak? You're like yeah, Yola. Yak, Yak, that's 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 my man. That's West that's that's, that's my guy. That's that's my pair. Uh, you know, we got like a big brother, little brother type relationship. That's like my little brother, but you know, we still pairs at the end of the day. So you know, I still treat him the exact same way. You feel me? Right. And it's vice versa with me. But 
You know that's it's bro. So when y'all in the studio, like, what's that like? Shit, we be in the studio. <laughs> be wild in the studio, bro. Like, <laughs> like do y'all? Do y'all, y'all like, I'm pretty sure y'all probably push each other to like. Yeah. That, that, that's like a tough, yeah, tough situation. But, yeah, like, but when we be having sessions, it'd be like industry sessions. Like, so, like, we had probably had like five people in there that make beats. Yeah, you know I mean, it might be mm. like two, three rappers in there, four rappers in there, some of the homies. They might got girls in there, <laughs> and so it just be like that's a legendary all, session. So I see why. I it'd, be it. there, it'd be all over the place. Yeah, that's bro. like legendary <laughs> nights right there. It is. Yeah, Dang. that's hot though. Yeah. That's hot. So what, what what was it like recording that song, or do you you know you and Yak had you know you know live like this, bro? It's so crazy because like uh, I didn't even I forgot about we did that song. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, make bro, so much like, music, right? Yeah, <laughs> and plus me and Yak we was in the studio one day for like sixteen hours. We we had Sheesh. like four um like four different people come record us, four different engineers the whole time. Dang. We did the song. And after we uh we did the song, it's a song called All's Fall Down, we never like put out yet. We did that song, that was the first song we ever recorded. And um when we recorded that, we lost all the vocals to it. You feel me? And me and Yak, like neither one of us like like I like now I'm starting to like really understand and take my time to like chill and like try to write music. But like most of the time we don't got time to do that. So like we always just like creating once we get there. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we probably wouldn't even know what we say. So, like, we had recorded a video of us, like, like basically performing a song for Instagram. And that's how we had got uh, remember the lyrics. So we lost all the vocals. We had to record the whole Dang, song over again. Damn. So it took, like, 16. We had, like, a 16-hour session. 16. Yeah. That's crazy, that's though. double so shit. To, um, not, to <laughs> not write it. <laughs> yeah. Lose it. That's yeah. Bro, I would have went crazy and right for there. It to come um, out the way it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, see, that's what I'm saying. The so, creative process. That's, that's, yeah. And that's dope. that's legendary yeah, you know? though. You feel yeah, it's like a story. That's, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. So I had um, we had that song, did that song. That's the song I really remembered the most because we put so much time on it. And then we recorded that other song. But this particular time, we had females coming through. I mean, all like it just it was crazy, bro. Like they come from the club and stuff like that, so they like turned up. You feel mm-hmm. me? So um, I recorded that John and the night was like a blur for me because I had to roll. You feel me? So I <laughs> got up out of there. Yeah. And um, he hit me back up, like probably like a week later. Like, yo, bro, the label cleared the uh song. Dope. And I'm like, damn, what song they cleared? Like, you going on the tape? I'm like, damn, what song they cleared? That's hot. And he like, damn, they cleared a little like this. And I'm like, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot. Yeah. And it paid That's off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like. I know um, you performed that on the block, or you recorded it on like the block, and you know in the neighborhood. How was that? You know yeah. doing that There's in a West couple Philly. blocks. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know? so, yeah. Yeah, that was that, that that was fun, cause uh, you know like we had a bunch of people from the neighborhood out there. You know like a lot of the kids influenced by people that rap and stuff like that. So it'd be kind of cool. It'd be it'd, it'd, it'd be a good feel, especially because that's like where we from. So you know people then. Knew us we before we ever even thought about rapping, so yeah. it just you know you felt like a champion mm-hmm. type yeah. of moment. You know you there yeah. with the whole hood and just yeah. yep. being able to rap on the blocks that you. And that's on. really a vibe yeah. to bring the kids out though, because like, they look up to stuff like that. That's giving yeah. them something to look forward to, other oh. than the other stuff that they see on those blocks. Yeah, because I remember when I was a kid, <laughs> I used to see certain rappers. Like I used to see everybody from state property in the city Dang. as a kid. Like you feel me? So I just remember how I used to feel running into them or seeing them like you be able to like touch him and talk to him and stuff like that. So I always remember that. So even if the, like if I ever get super big or something, I'm still gonna always, you know. That's crazy though. With growing the up seeing other rappers then become uh, idols really yeah. become rivals. Yeah, yeah like, facts. That shit, you really become rivals. Yeah, and and facts. not in a bad way, but just in like, you know, it's it's either be eating, bro. <laughs> it's so sink or swim type yeah, of environment. Real, so it's sure. like that's hot. Yeah, now music only gonna last, but bro, for like two three weeks, like. Yeah, and then you know somebody else dropping something or the fans want something else because they didn't listen to that too much. Mm-hmm. So you the, the last um project you dropped was High Risk, right? Yeah. Um, with Moolah Five Nine, right? And mm-hmm. everything. And then um, so that you know that was what in twenty twenty one, right? Yeah, like yeah, just yeah, past yeah, year. Yeah, we probably we year. probably put that out like six months ago. Cause yeah, he, yeah. He he had to um, shout out the Moolah. He had to take a uh, a sit down. He went to jail just for like yeah. a little small second for like a violation. Yeah, so he, he had to do out. like six months. 
Yeah, so small little sit down. Yeah, we back. We back. We've been in the studio about two, three times since he's been home. We've been home for probably like ten days, eleven days. That's pretty good. So y'all, yeah. y'all had that project, you know, killing the streets and everything. Yeah. But what, what's next for you? You know, what can the uh, audience and the viewers can look forward to? Well, you know, um, we about to drop. We gonna drop three visuals off the high risk project. Um, we gonna get them out the way. We uh, we gonna drop a deluxe mm, for so, the high risk project. Yeah. So. That's dope. We gonna probably have like four or five new songs on there, and um, I got a new song I just recorded with Yak. Wow! So um, I'm gonna probably put that out, probably like within like the next like thirty to forty five days. Pretty well, we waiting for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we waiting, waiting for you. You won't hear it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dang, you, y'all heard it here, right on. Yeah. Y'all heard on it on Boss Talk. Yeah. <laughs> thirty forty days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Yo. facts. laughs> Dang. Stream so, up that high risk project, yo. Mm-hmm. So damn, so you're gonna drop a deluxe, drop the song with Yak. That'll put some new music out there. Yeah. And then um is it any other artists that you wanna work with in the city? Uh I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm willing to work with whoever. Like, you feel me? Like, as long as I like their music, I'm willing to work with whoever for real. Like I ain't really one of them type boys and um I don't really got no rapper beef, you know, I don't even play around like that, so I mean, I'm basically good for real. I'm just mm-hmm. that's good. I'm cool. I can make music with him, 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 and him. I'm cool. That's sturdy. So if that's I want to get on the mic real quick, you gonna you gonna get with me? <laughs> <laughs> he said he got like that. I ain't got, got no too. music out, so y'all don't know if you <laughs> like my music or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to tap in. I got to tap in. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a name of artist that you think you would hop in with, though, who would it be? Uh. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Right now, city um, got a lot of people, man. Yeah, it's perfect yeah, time. We got a lot of people. Well, I already work with Moolah and Yak. Uh, Tour Hot. I was about to say. I like Tour that's, Tour. I was tour. hoping that you were yeah, saying Tour. I, 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 I think that would uh, definitely have. Y'all styles uh, can match. Yeah, that's, for why, sure. that's why I was you thinking that. I mean? The styles. And our board, that's my guy. Boar Hot. Yeah, Boar Fire. Boar Hot. Yeah. That's my man. That's what Boar has on a personal level. So, yeah, me and Boar probably, we probably going to. Uh, Piss something out soon too, me and Boar Hot. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Dang, so we'll, we'll, um, if we take ourselves outside of Philly and like the mainstream, you know, the artist out now that's doing anything, who would you want to work with? It could be rap, it could be anything, you know what I mean? Uh, artists in general. Yeah. Um, let me see, like, who, like, who on your list? That's what we want to know. Yeah, because you got to have a list. You got yeah. some goals. You you said you're a writer, so you yeah. write down. You write stuff I down. Like, yeah, I've been liking <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Like, I like, like, um, Babyface Ray. Ooh. Fire. Uh, Dang, fire. Yeah, that, that's Keith's boy right there, so. <laughs> He loving I like that. He loving that. More than my boy. <laughs> fire. Yeah, I like, uh, I like, um. No cap, no cap. Oh, super Dang. fire. That's my guy. That's all. This is all Keith Lane right here for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's, that's my whole place. Use this air. I like Rallo. Wow. Okay. Hey, so, Rallo hot. Couple, there's a couple of dudes. Um, Sue Surf, Sue Surf hot. You ever heard of Sue yeah, Surf? Of course, yeah, Sue Surf. Surf hot. Yeah, of course, Sue Surf. Yeah, I'll listen to rap battle. Yeah, it's yeah, some yeah, other boy. I just found out about his name, like Sayari the Kid. He fire. Never heard of him. Yo, gotta tap in. Hard, bro. He like gotta put me on after this. Hard. Sayari the Kid. Yeah. It's rappers for days. Any mm-hmm. any singers? Anybody you want to get some love? You want to get somebody on a hook? Who you want to get on a hook to just with the hit them with the I melodies? Ain't gonna lie. Who going? Who going? Who going? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like females, I like to make songs for females too. Like mm. I got a couple songs for females, but uh, SZA crazy for sure. That's a, that's a classic. SZA, SZA go fire, bro. Fire. She know what I like doing. SZA. Um, I like Summer Walker. Of course, she fire. Yeah. You know, it's the other girl, all the girls listening to right now. She got the song out hours and hours. I don't really oh, know. Oh, um, uh, Money Long. All right, yeah, right. Money yeah. Long. Yeah, <laughs> she got the vibes, too. Yeah, the she killing it on the radio. Yeah, right the now. chicks put me on. Said, <laughs> yeah. I mean, she cool. And, and uh, y'all know who else hot? I like Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow. Oh, yeah, Jack Harlow. Yeah. Fucking Jack Harlow. He hot. He hot. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, he, he talk. drama got him. Yeah. You know, so, um, what's your take on the rap genre in general? We named a bunch of rappers. How you feel about rap in general? Like what? Like the state of rap? Yeah, the state of yeah. rap, the scene, the culture of it right now. Like you said, we just said there's a lot of different subgenres, a lot of stuff going on in rap right now. It's 2022. How you feel about it? It could be better. Like, mm. it could be better because we got, like, we got a bunch of leaders, then we got 10 times more followers. You feel me? So it's like, you got yeah. Lil Dirk, then you got like a hundred of like hundred Lil Dirk. Mini Lil Dirk. <laughs> no, you facts. got like a hundred. Many Lil Baby. So it's yeah, like too many. People got like once you find your own lane, 
then I feel like you cool. So, like you just gotta find your lane, and then like really like push with that. You feel you me? Just so, stick to that. Like yeah, like really like genuinely like find find what you wanna rap about and how you wanna deliver it and present it to the world and go with that instead of like trying to like be like the next artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. And then it's nine times out of ten, a person gonna realize that. This boy is influencing you like to the yeah. tenth power, so it's like too many people want to yeah. be like them. Like, it's crazy to say that because you named a couple of rappers who lead their own type of yeah. People like, you work with like like no cap. Yeah, ain't, too, ain't really too many no caps. Nah, ain't he got really his own. Many, like, I ain't gonna lie. Carlos. A lot of people ain't yeah. better than no cap. Bro. A lot of people not better than no. A lot of people I don't, don't know understand no yeah. cap. They let a lot of them bars go over their head. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he start. He's, if you peep no he cap, the lyrics. the lyrics on the pay, on the mm. uh, video. So you don't miss what he said. He said they ain't gonna miss through that. He word the lyrics away that. You can't miss it. Yeah, ah, he crazy, don't just bro. put the words in it. It, it. He got stuff in like parentheses. I really fuck with that body, man. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of people start following that wave now. That's now about to become a thing. Yeah. It's crazy they say that he no, started that. And I'm glad you captions. said that. that no, Cap started that because mm. before lyrics was separate from videos. Yeah, right. He yes. put the lyrics in the video. Yep. Now you catching the, the visuals with both the ways. Yeah, You're catching him actually in the music video as well as the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And wow. Starting yeah, he can take trend. off with that, yeah. He can take off with that. Yeah, yeah. So, well, man, you you gonna uh, definitely stand in that and continue to be a leader in in music as well. And like yeah. you said, because for sure, the, the way that this rap scene, I think, is a lot of good going on mm -hmm. as well. Um, but there is, like you said, the, the many everybody's and yeah. you know everybody. But before, to I ain't gonna lie, bro. Before you know it, bro, like y'all about to be knowing a lot of famous people because like. Philly, but Philly never really had that time yet where we just hot, like right. Yeah, you feel me? Like we can't do nothing wrong as a city, so everybody gotta have that time. Everybody, yeah. So our time definitely about to come up. They so gotta, but they gotta be brotherhood with yeah. that. Ain't facts. Everybody worried yeah. about being better than the next person yeah, competition facts. instead of like, oh, let's that's, come that's, up together. Yeah, that's one of the problems, you know? for sure. But I think it's, I think it's about to start getting better. We about to start having a bunch of artists that's gonna be able to provide for yeah. their families and their city and. Yeah, it's about to come together. I a think lot of people need to realize that sure. it's more to it than just trying to, a lot, like what he said, a lot of it is about competition, and that competition turning to beef. Yeah. You say you hotter than somebody, people take it the wrong way. Nigga, no. Yeah. Get, it's get, like, nigga, you don't like my music, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, nigga, you get better, though, or yeah. just get better for your fan base, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but the, the city is definitely at an all-time high with, like, good rappers, yeah. not just. For sure. Five years ago, That's everybody wanted to rap, but, like, they was ass. The mm -hmm. SoundCloud yeah. wave. Was, was, was ass. Yeah, Philly yeah. done took over a YouTube and Apple Music wave that's top tier right now. For yeah. sure. Top tier. Yeah, the, the top of it right now with the city. Yeah. And Facts. I think another thing to add to that, rap is really the number one genre. Yeah. So to, for, for all these rappers, it's, I mean, it's a good time to be a rapper because mm -hmm. the, all the eyes is on this genre for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. You know, hip hop and everything. Facts. And that's crazy. We, rap is the new rock and roll, you know? No, seriously. <laughs> that is it crazy. Really is. And and it's so many different sub genres under that, you yeah. know, which is awesome. Yeah, um, what, what is your take on um, being independent and signed? You know, a lot of artists is kind of on both sides of the fence with that. Uh, Being independent, like, first thing, first is good. Like, it's cool. Like, like I got like a little method right now with like band dependent. Like I look at it like cause I get paid for my streams and stuff. I oh, get good. Full money off of my music. Like, yeah. I got a car right now and all my stream money wow. comes to that. So that's it was dope. like every time one of y'all play my music, like on y'all device, I'm getting you paid. Up. So it's like that's hot. It's easy, but at the same time, it's real hard though. Cause like you gotta, bro. At the minimum, bro, you gotta at least have like two hundred thousand for radio when you oh, really radio. try to push a song. Yeah. You feel me? Like a big single. So it's song. like I, I look at it like it's a hustle though. Like if I could get X, Y, and Z to listen to my music, this many people, and y'all keep streaming my music, I'm gonna get paid more money. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, like, at some point, like, you could cut the labels out. Mm. You feel me? But then again, you get if you get signed, you got a person that's willing to give you money and back you and do everything, you know, that, that you probably need them to do. And it's, it's just about how you go about it and your approach. Like, I feel like I ain't really gonna sign a deal till I got some, till I, to show them I got my own cash. You want to stand on your own too first? Mm -hmm. Because it's like they respect you different mm -hmm. than them just coming to you and signing you. And you know, they just know that, okay, you depend on them. You yeah. depend on them for these for these royalties and for these checks and X, Y, and Z because mm -hmm. you're not really getting your own money out here. You right. feel me? Like they might give you a million dollar contract, but you're not a millionaire. That's true. Right, facts, yeah. facts. Yeah. It's, that shit getting cut up 10 yeah, different ways. It's about ways. how you pay it, but most importantly, bro, you got to have your own money, bro. And 
I'll be cool with signing the deal like with them because they're gonna treat you different. Mm-hmm. I think that's really dope that you even said that you want to stand on your own too. Cause yeah. a lot of people will sell out for the money, right? And you know, get used and abused and yeah, everything. Yeah. So, but that's that seems like you got a, a real good head on your shoulder when it comes to this game. Yeah. Um, another thing, the labels do definitely is get the connections and everything for yeah, you yeah. as well. They do. You know, they do a lot way more job. for you than you could do for yourself. For real. Yeah. Cause they already know. But some people be knowing they're not even going to get signed or not even close, so they just. <laughs> heavy on the independent or like, <laughs> nobody even trying to shop and bro. then they like, bash <laughs> the other person yeah, yeah, don't bash the, the next man yeah <laughs> like, you know I mean? yeah, ain't you know? nobody in your DMs yeah. or trying to get with you or no A&R's talking to you so it's like I no think it's all situational. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Feel me? It's all situational depending yeah. on who you are and yeah. you know the way your lane is going your situation, and everything. Yeah, yeah you know, mm-hmm. gotta do what's best for you and your family at the end of the day. Yeah, that's, honestly. that's exactly what it is. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, well, is there anything that you would tell any any upcoming rappers or anybody that wants to, you know, chase this dream for sure? Yeah, um, I tell them, like, don't let your loyalty make you a fool, first of all. Because, like, you know what, rapping, bro, like, when you're not a rapper and you be looking at other people that rap and they at certain levels and stuff like that, like, you, like, you kind of get an idea of, like, how they living and... You know, like you see how people treat them when they pop out and, and, and stuff like that. So that kind of be influencing certain people. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, like you got to you gotta understand that, like, in a game, like, you got to you gotta have yourself first, bro. Because, like, it could get lonely at the end of the day. So, yeah. like, you got to have yourself first. Like, don't make your loyalty. Don't let your loyalty make you look like a fool because you you had dreams of being a rapper before. And now you actually slight way in that position. And. You me and him and you in a studio with him that now his ops your ops and no bro like ah, yeah. it's just all business all, all respect strictly like, business out of all here. Facts, he giving y'all game uh, y'all respect <laughs> though you keep it business straight up you business keep. so when you see me do the song with you then I do the song with the boy that tried to kill you last week this all it's business, all business. I ain't don't got take it personal do it none of y'all got going on no effects though that that and that keep, man that's smart. He giving y'all a gym to that's stay out here. <laughs> yeah, no, for us, how you stay alive? That's how you continue to. <laughs> that's how you continue to be an artist. Like people begin to confuse. Like yeah. at the end of the day, we're rappers. I'm yeah. a rapper. You're a rapper, and that's the only reason we're here. And this is entertainment. If we wasn't both rapping, <laughs> I wouldn't know you. <laughs> you probably know, never would have. Yeah. So it's if like we happen to build a relationship after that. Then that's that's, that's different. different. But it's like. You feel me? I'm not even just trying to do that. I'm just strictly on business. I don't even really like trying to get this song, yeah. get these streams up, get this plaque. Let's get this little endorsement deal. Maybe, maybe, call it a day. Maybe we could both feed our families off. Yeah, this song. maybe we can get a know. Grammy one day. Who mm-hmm. knows? Yeah, <laughs> right. Real though. So, what were some of like some of the challenges that you had to overcome as a rapper to get to where you are now? Bro, just having confidence in yourself, bro. Like, just like knowing you could do it, cause like. You putting yourself on the spot for real, going into the studio and recording and putting stuff out. You know, you got people might laugh at you for this. Like, mm. you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. people might be like, you might get the get the uh, feedback that you're not looking for. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. you might be thinking this shit hard, this shit hot. Like, I could buy this, or but niggas might be like, no, bro. Like, you might gotta go back and work on that or. So Sharpen it's just your about, skills. Like, having that confidence first, bro. Like, you gotta have that confidence right. before anything. Is there any songs that uh, you thought was, like, hotter than others, but other people stream this one way more than... Hell, yeah. It be like that all the time, bro. Or, like, when people see me or, like, talk to me, like, the songs they bring up, I be like, damn, you on. What? Like, <laughs> I thought you would have said this or this or this. Like, you talking about... Like, I got a song called Muddy a lot of people mess with. Muddy, Man. that's on the red one? That's on the red one, yeah. Uh, you know what's crazy? Yeah. Your red one probably my favorite jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah, stars crazy. can't be saved, right? Yeah, I think yeah it can't, can't be saved. saved. Yeah. yeah, that's that's probably yeah. my favorite jump. Yeah, like yeah. that whole tape. Yeah. So yeah, good jump. Yeah. Well, what was some of your songs that you like? You know, you yeah, see, what, you favorite? know what Keith like. What you like? Yeah. yeah. Uh, my top three song, my favorite song I probably ever did. Uh, probably, probably not out deep. yet. I was about to say that. That's probably <laughs> not out yet. It's probably, no, it is though. It's, uh, cause I got like, cause I ain't gonna even say, I ain't even gonna say the songs that's not out, cause y'all ain't hearing me. Right. Ever. Yeah. So I'ma just say like my out of the stuff that is out into the world. My favorite song probably too deep, and then I got another song called Hold On. Hold, Hold on. on the banger. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I had like a dictionary and a thesaurus, 
And if you peep, I'm using a bunch of big words in that song all from the beginning to the end. And I kind of got the words out the books. Wow. And I just That's like fire. matched them up like that, kind of, you feel me? That's some no That's a crazy type creative shit. process That's, right yeah, there. Yeah. Like, wow. So I, it's hold on, and then too deep was supposed to be hold on too, but I just made it too deep. So mm. both of them. And stars, cause everybody. Stars is my favorite song. Everybody don't let me forget about stars. <laughs> Yo, star is really my favorite. <laughs> stars is like, one of your top songs yeah. on Apple too. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, wow, okay. So, um, man, that I would say, man, what is um, one one of your favorite moments so far in your career? Uh, you know, that big highlight so far that you just like, wow. Say, bro, cause I don't like to keep it a being. I'm more like a. I'm real like down to earth, bro. So like, no, humble. I just, I just understand that like, like you gotta be humble, bro. Like you really gotta be humble because God, um, He don't really bless people who like cocky. Like nah. you gotta be humble. Like yeah. even if you got, you can have a hundred million today. Like literally, He could have that going by tomorrow. What it's just do? about how you how you carry yourself. So like. I don't really try to get like too big headed, but you know, I done had plenty of people post me. Uh, but what can I say though? Um, the biggest thing for real, I had uh, this lady named Beryl and DM me. Mm-hmm. And she, she deal with like, she like the biggest A&R in the world. Mm. Like, you feel me? And what she said? She got um, like plenty of the artists. Uh, no, she just was like, she wanted me to come out New York and she wanted, she wanted to meet me and stuff like that. But uh, at the time she was on, well, when I met her, she just left Def Jam, and I think she was at Interscope. She <laughs> did Lil Papa, Polo G, and yeah, I know um, exactly what it is. What's they his are. name? Young Blue. Hmm. Young oh, Blue yeah, too. Blue. So she had he them hot. at first, and she like kind of like got them to like the positions they that was they in, at. and she she left Interscope. No, she was at a different label. She mm. left Columbia. She was at that's where she had them at, and went to Interscope. When she went to inner school, she just strictly was focusing on the baby because, like, he he was a real big artist at the time, yeah, like a mega artist for mm-hmm. sure. So you can't even focus on that. <laughs> you can't. Focus, you gotta lock in with that. Yeah, so <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. She didn't done that. Got him big, and she moved on now. So now she dealing with like everybody. Yo Gotti really got for real. CMJ. Uh, she baby face Ray manager. Mm. Mm. So you was so tapped was, like, in. Shit, so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, so her like, gonna get you with him. That's right. a group. That's yeah, a, definitely a good moment. Yeah, like and sometimes like you know I, I still be in contact with her. Like she just had me on live before with this dude Cardo got wings. He like a producer. He did Ti and Young Thug song. Mm, that's right. Ain't about all about the money. Whatever. Classic. It's yeah. yeah. That if it ain't about the money. Yeah. yeah ever since like she DM me and stuff like you know like she gave me like a different like boost because it's like damn that's crazy for her to like you know recognize that. No, that's fire. I just recently saw somebody was playing your song on a live, I think, and you had reposted it. Yeah, it was. I had saw that shit. I think oh, I yeah. commented on that. That yeah. was hot. Yeah, it was. Moments yeah. like that as a rapper got to be like they make you hot. feel good, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. people in whole other cities that you're not even worried about mentally. Yeah. And they worried it about you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it got to be a crazy feeling. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be crazy, man. But man, like you, I said, yeah. I just try to stay humble for the most part. That's good. Well, you, you on Boss Talk, man, right? Yeah. You know, Boss Talk, we... We uh, talk about some excellent, outstanding moments, and you know we really just want to be uh, kind of big up yourself because yeah. we all work hard. You right. know what I'm saying? Not we do fact. outstanding things in yeah. our own different avenues, and you're a rapper yeah. doing Thanks. your thing. Mm-hmm. What makes you a boss? You tell the audience because this, this is what the people want to know. Uh, I feel like what make me a boss is like my characteristics. Like, um, you know, I'm a leader. You know, I'm a I'm an alpha male. Um, I feel like eighty percent of the time I make good decisions. Eighty so. percent, twenty percent bad. <laughs> that's, an honest, that's an honest thing though. We He's all human, guys. He's human. Yeah. So yeah. Like, human. <laughs> you know, I, I make I, I make I make good decisions. Um, most of the time, I ain't even really thinking for myself. I'm thinking for my people. So, you know, like that's, a boss that's thing, like though. yeah. So. Take care of your people. Yeah, that makes you a boss. Yeah, that's most important that's for me. You mean you see a smile on my people's face? That'd be cool for me. That's right. Yeah, we had to ask you that. You know, we only gonna bring you here if you're a boss. No nah, facts mm-hmm. for sure. Circle, yeah. So yeah. feel good. Yeah. This is where bosses assemble. Yeah, mm-hmm. you a boss. Facts. Feel good. Facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> you know, everybody on here that's a boss. Viewers, y'all bosses too. Yeah, you're not. And, you're not coming. You know, if you're not a boss. Yeah. So yeah. don't even hit our DM. We're not gonna hit y'all DM. <laughs> 
you're not worried about and if you, you wait, just bosses. keep just keep working until you get there you'll yeah. get there you know all mean? work pays off mm-hmm. <laughs> as he told true. you stay loyal <laughs> stay loyal and stay stay humble that yeah. was another big one you For gotta sure. stay humble like you said you could have that 100 million a day and it's tomorrow, going tomorrow. Shit be gone. just because of how you treat people mm-hmm. you gotta treat everybody the same Family and friends, yeah. loved ones, love is the key thing at the end of the day Fact. that you learn in life. Relationships you know? is the key thing that you learn in life. Like, yeah. Yeah. it ain't a, if it ain't about nothing else, it's about the relationship I could build with him. You're right. Or the relationship, you know what I'm saying? Because, you mean? Yeah, you gotta just leave with respect and love, bro. Because even like in the streets, like people would look at me like, damn, you're a street boy, he just that in the dirt. But you still gotta understand, like, you gotta. Like at the end of the day, everybody needs everybody, love. You yeah. gotta carry it like that. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that gets you. That gets you way more respect too. Get you respect. Had doors open and everything. You know. Yep. So, it is what it is. And always be on time. Mm. <laughs> time <laughs> management is definitely. I was about to tell but him. Always, <laughs> no, but always be on time though, because if you on time, they, they give you they, they give you different opportunities. Unless you, you get caught in traffic, like no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a shot. We was, like, we was waiting on somebody for a minute. We ain't gonna see no names, but I know I was here. <laughs> no, it was like four o'clock. Though you caught up yeah. that traffic. Yeah, that traffic be real. <laughs> you know, fake traffic. Hell and hot water to get here, man. Yeah. This is this is this was good. You got you pulled over for this yeah. one. Devil tried to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he ain't I made it. Yeah, Dedication. Yeah. That means something good gonna come out of it. When you work this hard to get something done, that means something good gonna come out of it. For yeah, sure, fixed. man. Yeah. Man, Keith know what time it is, man. Keith, what time it is? Oh, yeah, you know we got to ask right you now. for some bars. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got music on yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Come Let on. y'all know. For the people who don't know, they about to get tuned in now. For they going to sure. be tuning into them songs after this. So we know we got to get you a know, couple bars. For sure. So you, you got to give us at least eight bars, 60-something. Something. Something cool. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. On ball stop. You feel what I'm saying? You, you come up here, you gonna get I'm get in the chat right now, round round with the Mac right now. Any nigga dissing on the game, fuck round, get you clapped right down. Me and bro riding around in the V, and we trying to get your hat right now. Mm-hmm. See, I be get back right down. Got me feeling like Shaq right now. Mm-hmm. Listen, look, I'm from the five, and I call all the shots there. That's the Tony gonna say I'm a hot head, and the yams getting hit in the drop head. With the years, little bitch, I ain't got hit. Ah, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, this thing. Okay, I said. <laughs> I said <laughs> I said, what I say? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I said, uh. rest in peace, Paul Chain, get to hear this music. When they killed my nigga, I swear I was going through it. Mm. They say, don't be reckless with the messes in your music, because them young as I influence might just fuck around and do it. Before you teach the game, gotta be a student. Caught my first case before I even went through Puvix. Look, mm. middle school, you could find me in detention. Fingers and Taraji Henson always had a thing for one man. That's cookie jar if you niggas lost. <laughs> With some punk, first place I let a pistol <laughs> off. Started out selling weed, then it went to raw. I had a little clientele, so I got it off. I sold my first dime, then I knew I was a boss. Then mm. me and bro got booked for running in the car. Caught a couple minor cases before I went to jail. Then a couple niggas bitches started sending mail. And that's too close to rat and nigga, I don't kiss and tell. But if you cuff on one of them bitches, I just wish you well. Listen. Half a milli for the bell. Them mm. people threw detainers on me, ain't no way in hell. Got 20 niggas in my squad, couldn't get a dime a piece. If it wasn't for my mom, I swear I would've starved for weeks. Gotta watch them niggas try and creep, watching what you eat. Niggas never put no money on my books for me to eat. I got love for Trigger D, even though he never wrote me. I know he'll take a bullet for you, let a nigga smoke me. Mm. Yo, hey, boss yo, talk. Y'all yeah, boss yeah, talk, boss yo. talk, bars. <laughs> 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 yo, it's Remo, West Philly. A couple of them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to Taraji oh, Jones. I was about to say, Taraji Jones. Jones. Right. Fuck, Cookie yo, Jones. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You only hear them type of balls on boss talk, man. Yeah, right. you only <laughs> hear them balls on circle. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, y'all. That's right with Josh and Keith. You already know what it is. That's episode five, man. Josh, Keith, and Remo. This is a legendary night, y'all. Yes, for sure. This oh, legendary man, light. Man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's right, man. It's two tapping. Uh, wrist. Uh, what is it? Uh huh. What's the, uh, the high, one risk. Right high, high, high risk? High risk out right now. Uh, get that before the deluxe come out for sure. Throw it in the playlist. Catch up, man. We got, here. Got a lot going on the talk, man. That's where you got it. It's what we do. Bosses circle, man. We we love that you came up and and did your thing, Remo. For Appreciate sure. it, man. We gonna get you back. We gonna get you back when that music drop. No <laughs> <doubt. Yeah, laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'll be back, no doubt. You got sure. some more balls. You got to break uh, down. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You the first guest on Boss Talk with Josh and Keith, man. Oh, Many more heavy. to come, man. Yeah, that's heavy. That's, that's heavy. right. That's heavy. <laughs> so we we talk sports, music, and the culture. 
Yeah. And we got the culture right here, man. We doing Facts. our thing. Live and direct. The culture. That's so, West Philly, too. West Philly. West Philly. We in man, the building. <laughs> Everybody, y'all have only, it. was only right we bring yeah, it only right. No, you right. know what I'm saying? So more to come, man. We're gonna tap in. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. More to come. Boss talk with Josh, Keys, and Remo, and we out. We out.